Hello everyone, my name is Ashkan and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna talk about pipe span. Pipe span refers to the distance between two consecutive pipe supports. This distance is critical for maintaining the structural integrity of the piping system because it directly affects the load that the pipe can safely carry without excessive deflection, stress or vibration. Well, uh, in more detailed explanation, the pipe span depends on various factors. For example, pipe size, wall thickness, material properties, operating conditions like pressure or temperature, uh, fluid density, and some other external forces like wind or seismic loads. Uh, this formula is usually based on some calculation in as maybe 31, and this formula determines the maximum allowable span for a specific piping system based on these factors. Well, uh, by ensuring an appropriate pipe span, engineers can minimize risks associated with pipe failure, leaks, or vibration-induced fatigue. Well, in practice, pipe spans can be adjusted using various support types, such as fixed supports, guided supports, or spring hangers, depending on the piping system's specific needs. As you can see in the picture, this is the most common formula and equation for calculating the maximum pipe span. Uh, it is based on the concept of beam deflection. Uh, various factors are included in this equation. For example, E, which is uh, the Young modulus of system, I, which is uh, moment of inertia, W, which is the total uniform load on pipe, which can include the whole piping system and other, for example, fill instruments that are installed on pipe, the, the, the weight of the valves or flanges. The C, uh, which is a constant. As I uh, wrote here, um, these uh, values can be considered for fixed supports and one can be considered for simple supports. And S, which is the maximum allowable deflection. Uh, the most important factor in ma maximum pipe span calculation is S, because it is different in every project for example in some projects for service piping systems uh, the main process uh, services it might be considered as uh, seven or eight millimeters but for utility piping systems it can be considered around 12 or 13 millimeters it really depends on project specification and the standards that you are using however this is an important factor that uh, should be found in project specification to find out the allowable deflection in your system by having all these factors, you can cal calculate the uh, pipe span of your system. Uh, before continuing, uh, just consider in your mind that supporting is a key factor in piping engineering because uh, by supporting, you have to optimize the flexibility and weight control of your system. If you use too much support on your system, the flexibility is reduced and you don't give your piping network uh, the required movements that it should have and by not using the required number of supports uh, the stresses in pipes uh, is increased because the, the load of the uh, items on your piping system is uh, induced in your pipe and these induced stresses uh, can access the allowable uh, load on your piping system and it, it might uh, lead to a failure okay uh, this was one of the most common ways for uh, calculating the safe pipe span but we have other methods for understanding the maximum allowable span of piping system one of them is standard MSS SP69 in table 3 you can find the detailed uh, quantities for safe pipe span the first two columns, one and two, are referred to as steel pipes, and the, the, the second uh, pair of columns, column three and four, are referred to copper tubes. And two different services, water service and vapor service. These are the heaviest fluid that you can have and the uh, lightest fluid that you can have. Uh, just consider that these data are set for a standard wall thickness steel pipes. Uh, as I told you previously, one of the key factors in uh, calculating the safe pipe span is the wall thickness of the pipe. For example, for a 6 inches pipe, which has a water service, the safe pipe span should be 
maximum this number. Above 5.2, your pipe system deflection would be increased higher than the allowable amount. Okay, uh, and the third method for calculating the pipe span is using the software pipe data. By going to options and clicking on save pipe span, the window like this will appear. First, you have to select the schedule or thickness of your pipe system. Then you have to select the material, your service, which is liquid or gas, the corrosion elements, and the thickness of your insulation system. As you can see, these are all data that have uh, effects on the weight of your piping system. And finally, by selecting uh, the size of your pipe, you can see the maximum safe pipe span that you can have. It means that above this number, if the two supports, two consecutive supports, uh, have distances above this number, uh, the deflection will be increased above the specified number here. Okay, uh, thank you everyone. These were three methods for calculating the safe pipe span. Please introduce us uh, to your friends, like, comment, and subscribe our channel. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.